For this project, we're going to create our names using nautical flags. On ships, each flag represents a different letter, and different combinations of flags can spell words. Please put your name at the top of the nautical flag alphabet worksheet, and then create a color code. Fill in red for number one, blue for number two, three is yellow, and four is black. As you're using a marker to fill in each flag as it is coded, please color very carefully using the tips of your marker for the very small areas or the sides of your marker for the larger areas. When it's all filled in, it should look neat and tidy. It shouldn't look scribbly. If there's little areas that have gone outside of the lines, that's okay. But I really want you to try your best to make sure that these are very cleanly colored. Next, we're gonna get ready to create the background. We are creating using a horizon line, which is where the sky and the water meet. We are using three or four or even five blue pastels of different colors, different shades of blue, to be able to make this view that we're gonna attach our flags to. Make sure your name, your name and teacher code are on the back. Use the black marker to create three lines going across the page where the flags will later hang. Use the darkest blue in a zigzag, um, sort of a scribble pattern across your paper, starting in the middle and working toward the bottom. Build up each blue uh, on top of that in scribbly sort of motions using the tip of the pastel. Next, we'll begin to blend with our fingers to get a watery look for our water. This part can get a little messy. We're gonna make sure that any of the pastel that comes off of our paper, we do not blow that, we do not brush that off the table. We use a clean hand to move our paper over and then we get a damp paper towel to wipe it up. This is the safest way to clean up pastel. We don't wanna be breathing it in. Dry your table and then put your paper right back in front of you because it's gonna be time now to do the sky. You will only use your lightest blue pastel for the sky and you'll turn it on its side. And you'll go back and forth across the paper with sort of in different pieces. You don't wanna color, cover or co color the whole thing. And then you'll use your finger to blend. This is gonna give the effect of clouds in the sky. And the whole thing will look blended and really nice when you're all done. Next, it's time to cut. Make sure you're holding your scissors properly with your thumb on top, that they are not pointing towards you or towards anyone else. They're pointing away from you and you are gonna go ahead and cut your paper. Cut very carefully along the edges of the flags. Then you will decide, well, of course, you're going to choose only the letters that are in your name. So maybe you'll have to even color two of the flag worksheets to make sure, like if you have two A's or something, you'll have to make sure that, that you cover that. Four dots of glue is all you need, and go ahead and place it where it needs to go on the line that you drew with black marker. So you're spelling out your name. You can do first and last if you have enough room. That would be great. At the bottom, sign it with your artist signature. You can add some birds in the sky if you'd like, and then everything is complete. Do your best work, enjoy the process, and have fun creating your own flag code.